Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Merch's of Kaidan. We're going to pick up where we left off last time. we got our save game here, and we'll just load up right in. Now, last time where we left off, we were in Asma. We have two quests, basically. No, three quests that we need to kind of get wrapped up. Early on in the game, we make most of our money with quests, I bet. I'm not really into just making 30 quad each trip. So once this loads up, we'll get rolling. Alright, here we go. Little airship there. One day we'll have an airship. Mark my word. Okay, I'm trying to remember where I picked off. This is the next day after the last one. We have an empty cart, and nothing's looking good for, for uh, selling elsewhere. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to go straight. Well, one second. Let me check what the press in, or gun was. Uh, yeah, everything sucks. So we're just gonna ride back up the mountain to Ergon. Ooh, actually, we have that flatulent guy, that crazy dude, who wants to go to Nar. So I propose we go through Rosuvio, Tanungan. Satyo, and then <laughs> Fazbam, and then Nar. We'll drop him off there, and then we'll go back to the capital via this route here through uh, Anobata. We'll pick up the chest there, go up to Ergun, hopefully we'll be able to find some good trades along the way. So let's just go to Resuvio. The only thing that you can say about Resuvio is that the most ugly people live there. Ouch. <laughs> they need us. Uh, 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 they need like Asmore's Terrace Bureau. You know, Land of Joy, right? They should be forbidden from exiting their houses during daytime. A bit harsh, but we'll see if they're getting anything done inside of their houses. One of your cards broke. The damage cart slowed you down for one day. And we have to repair it once we get in there. <sighs> you have a broken wheel in your cart. Cattle death and alokai. We don't care about that too much. Go in here. Um, Hides aren't the worst here. Wouldn't be able to sell anything here. Um... I think we can, well, let's look at our history. Has hides ever sold for, okay, for Goto is 18. Yeah, we aren't going to be able to make any money off these hides. How about food? Anyone buying? Maybe. It's hovering around 7. Let's not risk it. Then we'll go down to... Satyo. Five day journey. 19 Kwai. Oh, plus bridge toll. Alright. We're gonna pass number four. Maybe we shouldn't have, but I'm in a rush to get to Nar. I want to get these quest rewards as early in the year as possible. Because we're getting close to summer here. Let's see. That oh, and I completely blew past that. Uh, our luck went down. We'll see that event a lot. Okay, we can definitely make money off of 10 Kwai Hides. That's actually about the best you'll ever find them. And I bet we can sell a unit of food if it'll let us carry it. But nah, it looks like we're full. Okay, that's fine. We'll just carry on here. We're passing up a couple places along the way. Mostly because I'm quite interested in getting these quests done like right away. But I promise, particularly like in autumn, end of autumn, we're gonna come back over here where the barbarians live. But for now, keeping it civilized. We're gonna fast bam, four days, 25 quiet. God's bless your observant eyesight. You saw a glimpse of light in the grass and found 10 quiet. Hmm. Pays for the bridge. Huh. I wonder if that's a coincidence. 
Okay, the, all right. It wasn't too bad. Okay, we can't really make much money selling our hides here. But we're going to Nar anyways. Oh, we forgot to repair our cart. It's important to repair the cart that we can hold as much as we can. Let's buy some food with this new area we have. Kick myself for traveling so long. One day to Nar. This is good. The mountainous journey. Ooh. Okay, we see a couple of question marks here, but first we're gonna sell our stuff. Oh, here we go. Four required per food unit. We only have three units, but that's twelve. That's uh, our. That's road expenses. Uh, hides are less margin, but we have more of them, so uh, three times three, three, about a hundred quad. Nice. Slowly, slowly, slowly getting more cash. 35 ore isn't bad. We might want to consider bringing that. Oh, I need to remember to speak up. Oh, well, Tervian hops off the back of the cart and says, God bless you. Now I can confront the demon of corruption on its unholy ground with the might of my holy flame. <laughs> my words of love and wisdom. <laughs> I shall save their souls, bring back those who went astray in the city of thieves. Thank you. May the blessings be with you. See you, dude. Yeah, 150. Not the biggest payout ever, but I'll take it. Check out the tavern. This lady is all to dress up nice. She's kind of cool looking, I think. Hey, mister. My land is far away. I travel to Oros, to the capital. A message I bring. Would you help me get there? Quick, reward for you, yes. This guy's like evil, like Yoda, dude. A stranger. Well, I guess when it comes to passengers, there's a conservation of crazy. So we'll let him on. <laughs> okay. So we're looking a little bit flusher with cash. We can make money off of 15 hides, I think. So we're gonna buy that up. And we're gonna go straight to Overos. Back here, backtracking a bit through Fazbam, Anobata, into Overos. And we'll just do that now. Ooh, during a stop, you met another trader who offers you a game of crabs. We're holding hides. We can only really go wrong if he has food. I'm gonna bet that he at least has ore or something even better that we can't even buy yet. So we're gonna play. Okay, we got clothes in exchange. That, that is a trade up. 15, 15 quiet clothes is actually, we're gonna make good money off of that. That was good. Good occurrence. We can sell for a lot more than 18. So, ah, uh, but we, we went overweight. Our margin on the hides is going to be smaller, so we'll sell one unit at a loss. We lost five cry there. But I think we can get more by the clothes. My clothes can often sell for 30. After emerging from behind a sharp curve, you saw a fight in progress. Several robbers are attached to the merchant. We're heroes, we always, always help. Seeing the rescue coming, the robbers retreated into the forest. The merchant was grateful for your help and gave you a parchment for a lucrative transaction with his family members in Narheim. Hmm. Willing to buy food at a high price. We have a. We might end over there. Uh, Narheim is kind of close to Siltara, and if you recall from last episode, at the very end, we got a quest for that. So. We'll keep that in mind when we're over there. Hmm, something to keep in mind though is that there's food going on in Siltara, so the price of olive oil is high. Okay, we might want to buy some before we head over there. Anobata. Okay, looks like we have kind of like 
very wooded along a creek. It's a nice place. I think we can get even higher for clothes in Overrose. Like, let's see, do we have the old data for Overrose? No, it's only saying 16, but that was like a month ago. We aren't going to get much better though. Let's... I don't want to skip a good price. So we'll do that. And I think we can buy up what we just sold in food. That would be a good trade. Alright, and we'll continue on to Overos. We pay the, we pay the bridge toll. Oh, a small animal attacked you. It didn't look like a threat, and yet your coachman went pale. The animal turned its back and sprayed you with the most foul substance you've ever smelt. It took two days to clean up the cart. Skunk attack. Oof. Long, long trip. Okay. They made some of our food go spoiled. Uh, whatever. We're back in our home. Okay, we have a quest down there, and hides are really... Not so great here. We'll lose one per, we'll have to carry them to a different spot. But we can sell this food at a good, good price point. Ugh, thank you. Many thanks. This is my gratitude. <laughs> Ooh. For a creepy guy, he pays pretty well. So we'll definitely take that money. Got another exclamation mark down here. Some guy wants to talk to us. Oh, this is the overrose thing. So you came back for the chest? Be careful with it. It's important. Yeah, I'll be careful. Could be any number of illicit goods. I, the less I know, the better. Um, we're going to try to sell hides in the mountains, as silly as that sounds. What I'm wondering is if we should go to Siltara while we're so close before going back up to Ergon. Let's look at our... Oh. Sorry, wrong button. Let's look at our active quests. So what we have here is a list of the our active quests. We have our overarching goal of doing the Merchant Guild here. And we need 4,000 uh, Trigons. Come on. Maybe halfway there. We need to take the parcel that we just got to the guy in Ugon. Doesn't look like there's a time limit though. And we need to deliver a package that we have to a guy in Siltara. So let's go to Siltara. We can kind of go up along the coast here through Vergoto and Alokai and see what's up with Ergon. Now they said that Siltara, the olive oil, was selling well, but we can only buy for 58 here, and that's quite high. We aren't gonna, even if they have no olive oil, they aren't going to buy for 58. So we'll go to Ranta here. During travel, you met an old lady leaning on a stick. When she saw you, she said, Are you unlucky, young man? Let me help you. Luck is good in this game, and we might need it. So show up here. Okay, we can... Let's check the olive oil really quick. Yeah, they don't even sell it. Six quad for food is pretty good. So we'll buy two whole units of it. We need another cart. Bad. The thing is, is that once we get a merchant skilled, we'll be able to uh, deal in new commodities. But here, we found a chest in the bushes growing next to the road. Do you want to open it? Of course we do. We found an unidentified item. Hmm. In accordance with governor's orders, you will pay trading tax. Two trade guns for 100 kilograms of goods. 
Well, our cart is 300 kilograms heavy, and so this will cost us three, so we'll do it. Okay, it costs us four. I guess they round up. Okay, here's the guy. Yaro. Yes, I know him. But we're out of but you're out of luck, my friend. He's just left the town. Yeah, I know where you can find him. But as a tradesman, you should know that no information is free. If you bring me one of them magical items from North Four, I'll tell you where Naro Yaro is to be found. I'm tempted to say that you know, just take the package, whatever. But we'll go to Nordafor. Nothing's ever simple, it feels like. Alright, but we can sell our hides here pretty well. So we're making two quiet thirty four units, sixty. It's paying for our trips. Razor, razor thin margins going on here. Food is pretty cheap. Let's buy that up. Kind of lower our general exposure. Um, let's see what that item was we got. Hmm, to find out what it is, identify it, identify it in the Cantor. Alright, so it's going to cost us 26 Kwai. I want to know what I'm carrying around. Ooh, fine wine. A good wine is worth a fortune. The older, the better. Well, what kind of fortune? Ah, 437? That's really good for finding it on the side of a road. <laughs> I guess we found someone's... Uh, you know, a little alcohol stash. Maybe their wife made them keep it out of the house. Ooh. We're actually near Narheim. But I'm not sure we have enough capacity in our cart to really truly leverage the food uh, profit there. Bell of all the night. Stop right there. You shall not pass. Eh, never mind. I'm too weak to stop you anyway. I was wounded in the Battle of Krimish. I got slashed with a poisonous sword, and I am slowly dying in agony here. None of the medics have the antidote to the poison. Please, I need your assistance. Help me reach Dunlar, my hometown. Either be healed, or to die in my ancestor's home. Can you help me? We love the veterans here. One of your carts broke. The damage card slowed you down for a day. Joy. Now we're in the orse end of nowhere. <laughs> okay. In here. Oh, that's so silly. Okay. Um. I'm sick of making only 30 quai per trip. We need a larger cart as soon as possible. Larger cart costs 4,000 though. And unfortunately, we can't sell our last cart in this game. Because otherwise, we could do. We could like sell this cart here. And then buy that. So for now, we're stuck repairing. Hopefully, at the end of one of these quests, we'll be able to get a new wagon. An extra wagon is twice the money. And you just kind of start to explode. It's nice. So here we go to Vergoto. Ah, we've had some good luck with chests so far, so why not open it? Ah, another... Uh, hopefully it's another wine bottle. Okay. Well, I'm really interested in what that is. Uh, we'll identify. What does that look like to you? Like a hookah? Identify 28. File of perfume. 
This minuscule file contains the essence of Umka Seal's reproductive glands. An aphrodisiac that only the most rich ladies could afford. Sounds expensive. Umka Seals are scarce and very hard to catch. Oh, so how much does it sell for? Yeah, 52. We'll sell it. Every little bit matters. Oh, I'm glad we stuck and like waited to sell our food. This is 7 quai. So 7 times 3 is 21 tens. Or 2. 2 ten. Nice, we're getting there. You see here that we're basically, I think the trees on the hills on this mark the beginning of seasons. So this has been spring so far, and we're going to be hitting summer here soon. We'll keep an eye on that, see if that's actually how it works. Ooh, we can definitely make money doing ore for 35. Um, in fact, yeah, we can definitely make money doing that. Now the question though, is do we make a detour to Narheim, or do we go to Alakai up through the tunnel here into Ergon? I think we do Ergon, because we want to have a larger cart when we come to Narheim full of food. Full of food. So we'll go to Alakai for 3 quiet. Go up there. Another chest? Okay, I know what the title of this video is going to be. Unidentified item chests. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like... Is that a slow going into the ocean? These places seem really small for the amount of commerce that we're doing, though. But I'm not complaining. The thing about these little villages is that they sell kind of crap stuff sometimes cheap. So it's like, they're kind of just on the way. So another four days to our goal. We ran into our friend free four. Next time, when we have a bigger cart, we'll bring him on. Alright, back in our gun. We'll turn in our quest. Ah, here. Great! You can't imagine how helpful you were. Here, take this for the trouble. Thank you, Sven Cole Meisner, merchant. Ah, good payday, good payday. Particularly this early in the game. Okay, so we've made a mistake with our ore. We can't sell it here. <laughs> Being in Ore Town. Hmm. So what I'm wondering now is what quest do we have left? We have a guy who wants to go to Dunlar, the veteran. He's sitting on the cart. And then we have the bartender who wants a magical trinket from Nordafor. But we do have an unidentified item again. Which is something. It looks like a horn. Like, doo doo doo. So, we'll open that up. Ah, lucky horn. A horn blessed by the god of abundance and joy. Its magical properties help loosen tongues. He, he who carries it may count that his drinking partners will share more valuable information with him. Alright. Let's hold well how much does it sell for? Five hundred. That's pretty good. But maybe we can use it once real quick. Who here looks nice? This is a specialist, we'll be more concerned about meeting them later. This guy looks like something out of a Salvador Dolly picture. Let's talk to him. Cheap drinks though. For the first time in a thousand years, a rainbow dragon was sighted in the west. The whole country is in panic. 
the last time one showed up, there was a hundred years of pestilence. Oh, the horror. A hundred years of pestilence would suck pretty bad. Thanks, man. <laughs> Alright. So, let's go to Nordafort. We have business there, and I think we can sell Orn Asmor. During the stop, you met another trader who offers you a game of craps. Well, we're carrying ore, and so, but it's ore at a very high price. In real life, I don't gamble. In games, I, I quite like to, so we'll do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got carpet, and we got you, you see here we have uh, 24 kilograms of carpet for 14 kilograms of ore, which is a lot more carpet. Like, we have a lot of several units. It's not a lot of ore, though. It's probably about three units of carpets, but they sell for much more than uh, ore. And so that was really good for us. How is the outlay zero, though? Hmm? Oh, not complaining. So, um, okay, we only got two units of it, but look at this here. We're making 25 cry off of two carpets, so 50, plus 5 times 20 is 100. Profit off the ore, offload that. It's a bit toxic. Hides for 12, yes. We're going to make some money here in a couple of seconds here. We're going to continue on to Resuvio. Cards broke. Okay. That basically undid our profits. Because <laughs> a cart broke cost like 100. And we just made 100 off of ore there. Anything good here? Nah, we're over weight anyways. Yeah, 85 for pair. Oh well. On to Nordafor. It's actually really pretty sick. Chess galore! Ah! Okay. Open it. We found a diamond. We're... What's our... I'm checking our luck value when we get into town here. Alright, our luck is... 0 0.3. Uh, yeah, to explain this a bit more, um... You maintain a rating going from negative uh, three to three, and we're hovering around neutral right now. Which is, I mean, so we're just lucky despite this. All right, not much more to say. It affects uh, whether events are good for, to you, whether you win games of craps, and what the prices are in the town. But let's uh, look into this quest really quick here. Doorsman at the School of Diplomacy and Administration. It's a very strange name. Magical stuff. But what should it do? Anything. I see. He hasn't specified. I'll give you this. He should be happy. Well, it's nice for him to do it for free. We got a magic scepter. Probably just like blinks. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. What's this? The cross urn, blessed by the high priest of the Trigonite. The symbol of the Trigonite has a very high price, but its effects justify the price. It increases the bearer's luck. I'm not sure I'm willing to pay that much for my superstition. So, at least, yeah. Let's check. Alright. Hides aren't very impressive here. We can kind of do a wash if they are selling something at a good price, but I'm not seeing much of anything there. So, checking our quests, we want to go to Dunlar next time. Go to go back to Siltara, and hopefully during the summer. We'll make our 4,000. But 
that's the end of today's episode. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've been enjoying so far, and have a great day. Peace.